electric automated gates. My name's Alan Hart. I'm just having some new gates installed at home today. So I thought I'd do a video and show step by step how how they install them. So yeah, let's let's have a look now. These gates are the cantilever sliding gate system. If you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments below and I'll try my best to get an answer to them questions. I did ask a question in the community section a few days ago and I asked what this frame was. And what I'll do is at the end of this video, I'll try and answer any of them questions that are in there. Um, hopefully, most of the questions will have been answered in this video so yeah let's start with um, the digging out so this is where the gates are going here just one of the one of these fence panels on the left that needs to be taken out and then the mud section here is where the gates are going to slide into and then we're just digging this out or Samuel is digging this out and he's going to put the base in there for the cantilever system. We've got Danny back today. You all right, Danny? Yeah. You got to out to say today. to anybody? I've got to fit gates. <laughs> Multi trades, man. Multitasking. <laughs> Electric gate installation today. <laughs> These gates are bespoke gates Samuel makes these to size and he also makes these frames he's just putting the frame in now just going to level level all this up and then it's going to be concreted in Just finishing off the concrete and then this will be left for a day or so just to go off and then the gate then can be put into place so they're just going to lift the gate into place now they've got a crane obviously this automated gate is very heavy and as I said before, this is a bespoke gate that Samuel or Sam has made. There's still the, uh, it, it's, it's absolutely freezing out there. Really windy, raining, um, yeah. Anyway, so there's still the, there's still the um, slam post to fit. So the, the post of where the gate goes into, which I'll show you that in a few minutes. And then also the gate stops as well that go on that. So that when the gate closes, it jams in and holds it in place. Um, there's also the motor to install so we'll show you the motor in place and also there's a, a wire that needs to go in from one side of the gate to the other and that that's for the sensors so if you were driving in and you stopped the gate wouldn't um, wouldn't close you know you wouldn't want it to smash into your nice new shiny car or van etc um, so there's that to install as well which I'll show you that I'll show you that as well um, yeah, uh, as I say, if you've got any questions, please ask them below. 
and, and I'll try my best to to get an answer to them questions for you. Um, yeah, let's let's go back outside in cold and have a look. Sorry about the bad sound here. I'm just going to put the slam post in. But it's really really windy. It's raining. A bit of sleet, a bit of snow. Um, yeah, that's the slam post. Just going to level level all that up. There the gate stops. Just going to level all that up. Make sure that it fits in the gate correctly, and then now it just needs to be concreted in. See there, it's all concreted in. As I say, it's absolutely, it, it's really, really windy and it's freezing. So sorry about the poor sound, sound quality on this. The sliding gate system or the gate automation system that's been used on this is the nice sliding gate operator. Sam uses this because he said it's reliable and it's high speed so it gates open really quickly. So what we'll do now I'll show you Sam installing this and also setting it up as well because you need to program it in and it's the robust 500 hs so that's the model on there so if you have a look on this the red lever is open at the moment so it's got the key in the lock and that means that the gate can just be slid into place to where it needs to be and then you can set it set it all up obviously lock it and then set all the the motor, uh, set the motor up to where you need it to open and close. It's really, really windy here today. He's just lifted the blocks up on the block paving, and he's just going to put a cable in here. And this is for the sensors. So if you can just see all the blocks up, just got some. Um, I don't know what that is, some, some sort of protection for the wire, so the wire doesn't get damaged. You can see all that's all concreted in now. Let's put the cable in, put the protection in for the cable. It's just putting the blocks back down with some sand. This will all be cleaned up after. See there, the sensor. Sensor will go on the fence panel there. I've actually asked for the sensor to be there. He said it could have gone up gate post as well. You can see stops are on there. So the gate stops. They just don't gate in place. You just see there now the, the sensor is in. So the gates are just about finished now. I'll just show them closing. You see there how quick, how quick they close. And then they just slow down a little bit and then they go into the stoppers. You see we've got the sensors there and they just stop the gate if, if say a cow apart across it or something like that. So I'll have another look now of it opening. There's a couple of settings with this gate. So you can have it for like a pedestrian opening as well. But that's fully open. You see that's fully open now. And now what we'll do, I'll open it just for, if you just wanted to walk in and out, you didn't want to fully open the gate. So if I just click, click on the bottom, button on the remote and then that'll just open it just a little bit like that just so you can walk in and out and then if we have a look on the inside we can see how it's working we can see the motor the motor's just turning and it's just up it's like a cog and it just moves moves the gate 
and then when we close it again it'll just close and as I said before it'll go into them stops them gate stops and then that locks it all in nice so now we'll have a look we'll have a look in the community section and I'll answer some of the questions that people have asked um, and then at the end of this video or after the community after I've answered the questions I'll show you some more gates that that Samuel David fabrications have done on other jobs and also I'll show you their YouTube uh, not their YouTube their, their Facebook channel as well their Facebook page as well and if you've got any questions then maybe you could go on there and ask them a question on there but what I'll do is I'll show you that at the end or near the end of this video so yeah let's have a look and answer some of these random questions in the community section so if we just have a look in the community section and then we'll have a look at some of these questions um, monkey slayer uh, apprentice doing some graft not stone on his phone uh, no electric gates Viesman one 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 Barry nope flash John Sparks air source heat pump very good guess but no not this time David you are the first one Dave um, electric gate do one sliding electric gate frame well done do one um, <laughs> gazebo no not that one electric gate make well done make um, they're taking the piece um, tunnel to the local bank I wish I could do with some money my wife wants to book a an holiday um, support frame for raised un outdoor toilet Right, okay, different. Uh, Viesman barbecue? No, not a Viesman barbecue. Outdoor shoe rack for dirty wellies? No, no, no. Um, boiler frame, work kit? I don't know what that is, John. Uh, ground source heat pump, Harry? Good guess, but not this time. Finding water stop tap. Water main stop tap. Uh, finding mains stop for water. No. Um, let's have a look. Gareth frame for oil tank. Nope. Why do you put yourself through this, Alan? Load of idiots. <laughs> oh dear. I, I love it, Keith. I love it. Um, a load of. Yeah, we won't mention that, Scott. Um, we don't use words like that. Gate. Gate. Yep. Yeah. Frank. Electric gate. Well done. Um, Steve me today we are looking at a square window to see what I am doing look closely right okay yeah whatever um, Steve hey up Danny Danny's back on this one um, Tim a shelf to put your hives on <laughs> not sure what that means um, Gary somewhere for Danny to sit uh, outdoor boiler for weather control power flush right some good some good ones there thank you for taking the time to watch my video on the electric electric gates or automated gates installation if you want to know more about automated gates or cantilever gates please go on to the Facebook page for Samuel David fabrications and you can see some more information on there there's some videos on there and you can scroll scroll on then and look look at some different videos of work also there's some photos as well and then you better see see the type of work if you've got any questions you feel free to click onto there and ask them some questions as well thank you